Chris back here, Rory. Got an interesting video. Going to do another deeper dive into some of the other kind of, you know, SaaS based software that we have here at Verb. And then, of course, wanted to chat about some use cases. But first things first, Rory, how are you? And do you have anything planned for July 4th? Lots of fireworks, lots of explosions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at those. I'm down here in Southern California, Laguna Beach, and there's a big, big fireworks uh, display and a lot of people. It should be a lot of fun. Yeah. Hey, it's a, a lot of pent up demand, I'm sure, for for all the COVID stuff that was the you know plaguing us for the past couple the like, year and a bit. But sounds good. Awesome. Uh, looking forward to hearing that update. And uh, you know, want to say hope everyone else has a great July Fourth. But diving into it, uh, do you want to kind of introduce? I know uh, we talked a little bit before I record uh, this acquisition you guys made the you know the last year, and we'll talk about kind of that and uh, maybe some use cases. Sure, absolutely. So, uh, as you, as you know, and and hopefully many of your your viewers know, uh, we are a software company, a SaaS based business model, and our specialty is sales tools. These are really innovative kinds of tools, applications that allow people to sell much more effectively, much more efficiently, leveraging our interactive video technology, where it's basically shoppable video, so your clients and prospects can click right on the screen when their interest level peaks to respond to whatever your call to action might be. It could be as simple as click here to buy now or click here to make an appointment with me. It'll open up my calendar right in the video. You can choose an available time slot. Click here to download my latest brochure or white paper, whatever it might be. So that, that's our technology. We have a suite of sales tools that are based around that. We recently introduced our live uh, Verb Live product, where it's live broadcast, live streaming with the interactions. I think we talked about that a bit last time, the attribution feature, which is beyond, really beyond, complete game changer will change everything uh, in, in, in the world around shopping <laughs> video. Um, and at some point, maybe we spent a little more time on that because it's that big. But um, uh, so our, our mission is, is, of course, to expand our, our target market as rapidly as we possibly can and find niches where we can get into very quickly and easily. And uh, what we recognized last year, especially as a result of the pandemic, is that there are salespeople that work for a lot of different categories of companies that service or provide product to um, the healthcare and, and, uh, and medical professional uh, space like to for physicians, uh, for pharmaceuticals, for a, equipment, for hospitals and other healthcare providers, and you know anyone who visits doctors' offices knows there's always a, a pharmaceutical rep waiting in there to to, to meet with the physician, right? Uh, and that's how they sell. In fact, you know everyone that sells that kind of product, whether it's pharmaceuticals or or equipment, surgical equipment, supplies, whatever it might be it's pretty much a face-to-face -face business with reps visiting hospitals and, and physicians' offices. Well, guess what? Pandemic, right? Now, you're not visiting anybody uh, in, in a physician's office or a hospital. That's not happening. So, um, you know, being the opportunistic uh, entrepreneurs that we are, we thought, hey, okay, perfect, perfect opportunity for our software. So we began targeting companies that uh, need this kind of tool because, you know, with that, they can sell uh, by sending a video to the physician's office or the hospital administrator, purchasing agent, whoever it might be, uh, that really very well, concisely, thoroughly explains wh whether it's a drug, the efficacy of the drug, or if it's equipment, whatever it might be, in the video that the recipient, the physician, or whomever could watch in their leisure whenever they have free time instead of trying to squeeze it in between patients, right? And, um, and then if they like what they see, they can click right in the video and, and purchase. Or if they want more information, they could download the information right out of the video. So a super effective way to sell, especially during the pandemic when access to face-to-face -to -face access was, was eliminated, even now it's still restricted and, and will probably be so uh, for some extended period of time. As we were out looking for companies that we could partner with that would utilize our software, we came across a company that um, really had a very well-established niche because they had their own software that they were 
that you know physicians offices were utilizing i mean people selling to physicians offices were utilizing and etc hospitals um, so we decided that we would just go acquire them and then merge our technology or interactive video technology into their platform and then leverage their customer base to expand it sell those existing customers you know an, an, an enhanced feature set uh, and then build on that base. So that was a company called Solofire. We did that acquisition in September uh, of last year. And uh, so now we've been building on that. So that's been really a terrific uh, opportunity for us. So it's a great niche. Now there's so many more out there. Uh, like our biggest challenge right now is deciding which ones we want to focus on first. So we're looking at building those kinds of relationships where they become a reseller. Uh, of our of our, our our products, our suite of, of applications, or if the opportunity is right, we we look to to do you know, acquisitions, and uh, of course they will have to be creative, uh, but uh, that's something that we'd be looking at, obviously, and um, and that way we uh, continue to build shareholder value, which we've got pretty great expectations for this year and beyond. Yeah, no, awesome. Well, let's uh, unpack a little bit, obviously. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Very interesting. Um, and you'd think there'd be less competition. And for the people that took advantage of doing videos like this, there's probably uh, some good upside as well. So you guys probably, you know, saw that. Uh, maybe uh, just walk, you know, can you walk through any of these like type of case studies, uh, you know, in more detail for people? Maybe just put it into words in front of their face. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, let's see who we uh, signed recently. Uh, some some names that people would know. Phillips. Um, uh, th there's some some big names. That there's there's probably a bunch. I'm not sure they they want us to name them. So I mean, be a little yeah. careful about that. But you know, it's it, it's the names of companies that you'd know that provide hospital equipment uh, and the like and uh, and pharmaceuticals. So. Um, uh, and it's the use case is, is exactly as I've described it. It's uh, it's the, these are people who normally need to be in front of the physician or be in the hospital, uh, and in some in some fashion trying to demonstrate their product. Well, what better way to do that by by a video? So um, I'm not sure I could elaborate more on that. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, but, but what, what know, else? What, uh, there's probably like, names of, of companies that uh, that we've had permission to disclose that that are there. Yeah, fair enough. Well, here, so I guess uh, the next kind of question I know people are asking, so awesome little, you know, niche little use case. Um, is there anything else that you like saw that were, you know, you saw this success story? Wow, this is the inspiration for this next kind of industry that you guys are looking at. Just curious if there's anything that comes to mind. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's so many. As I said, that's our biggest challenge right now. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, you know, as I've mentioned, I think in, in, in some of our prior chats, uh, we see this big convergence, right, between uh, uh, you know, entertainment and shopability. Uh, we think that everything is going to become shoppable. Uh, people are, are not going to watch something if, if you can't click in it and, and extract something from it, whether you're purchasing something or extracting some more information or downloading something. Uh, there's got to be an interactive component. I think that's where the world is going. And um, as I think we've discussed, we are positioning ourselves to really be at the for forefront of that. I think I may have mentioned marketplace previously. If not, that's something else that we really, really should talk about. Where um, Verb Live, as an example, is you know you 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 use your mobile device, or your, your your desktop, your laptop, whatever. You launch a Verb Live event. Now you're broadcasting yourself. You're your QVC, your own QVC channel, right? And uh, and you're communicating with the viewers. They're communicating with you. They're communicating with each other, on screen, live, real time, social kind of environment, making purchases, um, and the people attending are people that were invited by the host. Well, imagine taking that underlying technology and now you're going to create a destination where people can go to online destination that people can go to and you'll see thousands of people 
uh, hosting live events. So it's a, it's a social, fun, entertaining experience where you communicate with other shoppers, you communicate with the hosts. Okay, that one I'm bored with, I'm gonna go into another one. And uh, uh, that's, that's the future. That's happening now. We're building that. In fact, we built it. So you know, we're running a, a private beta. We've got, I don't know, north of 40 retailers that are doing shows every day. Um, and we're not promoting it yet. We're not advertising, marketing it yet. The people attending are people invited by their respective hosts of these shows. These are retailers that are running this. They're getting extraordinary results. We're getting amazing feedback, great feedback loop that, we're, that we've created uh, that helps us uh, refine the product. And we're looking for a launch, you know, several months out, uh, but certainly before the end of the year of, uh, of a global platform with uh, some big names associated with it that is going to, people are going to be like, what? Are you kidding? This is unbelievable. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So, you know, yes, we have a bunch of these use cases for, you know, companies that will sign up for our applications, but I want to change the world. I want to blow <laughs> this thing up in a big way because we've got a once in a lifetime opportunity here. My entire team, there's 200 of us. Everybody feels exactly the same way that you don't, you don't find these kinds of opportunities in life. You know what I mean? So people are, are super excited about it. And, and we're, um, you know, we're looking ahead to a bunch of home runs here. So that's, uh, yeah, awesome. Well, a lot, a lot of takeaways, a lot of things to come. Kind of, you know, knock on wood, uh, some good teasers. And I know going forward, definitely going to do a Q and A, but definitely going to talk about some comparisons to some of the bigger kind of, you know, SaaS based businesses out there, social e commerce businesses. So, looking forward to doing those. Uh, Rory, thanks so much again for taking the time. Hope you have a great July Fourth. Uh, anything else you want to say? No, I just want to say thank you, Jason. I really appreciate you taking the time and and uh, and sharing the. The Verb News uh, with us, with all of your your fans and followers that are many, obviously a tremendous amount. You do a great job, and I appreciate <laughs> you a lot. We all do. So thank thank you. you. Well, awesome. We're looking forward to some of the exciting updates here in the kind of second half of the year. But Roy, thanks so much. We'll talk soon. Thanks.